All right, this is an explanation of how to use um, Google Docs or Google Drive to turn in assignments. So essentially what you would do is you need a Gmail account. It can be an FCPS Drive account or a um, regular Gmail account. What you do is you click Drive, you'd right click, open it in a new tab, <clears throat> and then Drive appears. And so this is where you create your documents. And you can create um, a document through two different ways. One is you can simply click create and you click document and you would call this my terrible uh, economics literacy project. Okay. And then you would type about your article, blah, 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 and you keep going. It'll be great, I'm sure. And you follow those instructions that are on Blackboard. <coughs> And then that is one option, okay? The other option, as I still have Google Drive up here, is that you could upload an assignment if you typed it in a Word document. However, there's a couple way, <clears throat> there's a couple tricks here. One is you click Files, and for example, I don't have an economic literacy project on my desktop, but I do have some terrible other thing I can upload. And so, you would find this Word document that is mostly harmless. Whoopsie. Scavenger hunt key. Why not? So, we can upload that. And I open this document. And I have uploaded it. <clears throat> the problem I have is that this is uploaded as a Word document, and I would like it as a Google Doc. So, right here, you have to do it wrong once. But where it says conversion, you go to settings and you say upload files to Google Docs format and so it should be and then at that point you would um, upload it again files and it would be scavenger hunt key there we go open and this time it looks like a word document but it has been converted as you can see so when you click on it it now is a Google document. That's significant because then it can be edited. Okay. So <clears throat> either of these documents, the Terrible Economics Literacy Project, or this, to turn it into me, you would do two things. First, you would say, oh, well, I'm in period five, so you put a five. If you're in period two, you put a two. And you put a five up there, so I know that I'm putting it what period you're in. So if it's here, you just click on read the title, press 5 or 2, let's say it's 2 for this person. Okay, now all you do is to click share. In this format, only I have access, only the student or whoever this is, the email account is Hotbox Project, has access to it. To turn it in, you have to type in my Google FCPS account address which is R-B-H-O-P-P-O-C-K. And you see how my email address is popping up? That is not the correct one. FCPSschools.net. So while FCPS stands for Fairfax County Public Schools, you still have to put FCPSschools.net, which means there's two S's. You click, leave it as can edit. You can take off the check for notify people via email. Click share and save. Skip sending notifications. You sure do, because I don't need them. And then now RB Hotbox at FCPS Schools, the teacher, me, can now access the assignment. And so if I was to go to my RB Hotbox account, wherever that is, right here, this is my account, and it's messy, and get rid of the AP Economic stuff. I can then click Share with Me, and the most recent assignment was this scavenger hunt key that was shared. And so that is how I would do it. I would take this. Well, what I do is not that interesting. What I take is drag it into period two work, but that's not relevant to you. So that is how to share an assignment with Google Docs. I hope that answers your questions. And if not, please come in.